Last 15 years, everyone knows it. Each event has multiple fixtures. It's not only a, a front light and back light. It's uh, everywhere are several kind of fixtures, and yeah, the industry puts out every day more and more complicated fixtures uh, with different layers and levels and whatever. And there's not the time to do it all on site. It's not only light that you program over here or in, in the last years. Um, you have also often a video server or just the combination, the lightning triggers, the media server or the other way around or with some audio feeds and uh, interact with audio noises, uh, sounds, whatever. So it's all getting bigger. I started with Visvik, I think, 15 years ago. What Tillman said, that things are getting more complicated, this makes pre-programming more necessary. The fixtures we are having today, they have so many chances, they have so many options uh, to control, that uh, you have no chance on this tight uh, timetables today to deal with it, to deal with all kinds of options um, to reach out the best with the fixture or for the whole emotion itself. There are many ways to get to a good result, but in the end we have the drawing tool, we work with Vectorworks, like nearly the whole uh, branch, where we predefine all stuff which matters from a 2D to 3D or with some patterns, whatever. And afterwards in the studio we have since years Visivik, it was the first tool and year for year the best solution and support. And we have always an eye on, on the market to see other programs, ESP, Light Converse, whatever. We are not fixed on one, but in the end, the last years was it Visivik. Uh, now we get also license uh, with Deepens 2 um, from Synchronom. It is a totally new way of doing this, um, but the live output is so good that we also have this one in our studio. We like it a lot because the output is uh, outstanding um, at the moment and um, yeah, speed is, is also um, very, very good. Um, there's a little downturn that uh, you only can use uh, the Artnet protocol for uh, feeding this. Interesting in the last couple of years um, is that um, this is not only uh, to program lighting, but uh, also kinetic and uh, video. And this, this makes a lot of fun and um, this makes this studio more interesting because um, it's, the whole stuff is getting um, more complicated um, and you bring all those um, guys together to, 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 to see it live. We're working on mostly industrial stuff, uh, industrial events, if it's uh, world premieres or um, exhibition booths or something. Um, also some music stuff, it's mostly for the heart uh, doing this. Music-wise, Bertil is uh, often here uh, with all his bands. I think it's uh, the, the, the list is too long uh, to, to ring it out. Um, Nick Evers, uh, Timo Martens and Philip Hillers are also often here last year. Yeah, with the Berlin power band seat, um, with David Garrett, with Felix Yen, um, Christoph was here with Casper uh, Materia show. Um, yes, that was 2019. Projects with Chris, they started on site with us, us two together. But uh, later on, uh, when he got involved more and more into German-based clients or worldwide clients, um, yeah, he noticed that uh, we as Prefocus uh, are providing good pre-programming solutions and um, Chris is uh, somebody who wants to, to get the best out of the whole system. I know Toby for many years. When I came to Berlin in 2003, Toby was one of the first people I met actually on a job. 
And we were building stages together in the Meilenwerk uh, for some kind of show. And then he's, uh, he came to me and he's like, what the hell are you doing here? Canada, what? But uh, it was very kind uh, back then and we became friends and worked on a lot of productions together. And then years later, uh, Toby and Tillman came together and made this beautiful pre focus studios. And of course, I've been working with them. And uh, whenever I have a chance to recommend anybody a studio in Berlin, it's always this one because I just feel at home here. Usually when I come here, it's for a corporate client. Normally the industry has the money and they don't want to spend time in locations to really take a lot of time to build up and to program. So it makes a lot of sense to do pre-programming here. And sometimes it's, it's, it's for creative ideas. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's, it's just to save time getting like the stuff like we need to program on site, getting show files ready, getting mappings ready can save a lot of time to come here and do it here. But not just for that, also I've had ideas for some for some creative events, for some tours, and it makes sense to come here and see it in a 3D world and say, okay, does this make sense like it is in my head? Is my imagination correct? Or should I check it and see if maybe the angles are wrong, the size is wrong? So it's a, it's a very powerful tool, not just for a real event, but also for the creative mind. Well, also Philip and Wolfgang have been big help in the past. Toby and Tillman themselves are also very knowledgeable people, and if there's ever a problem or some kind of strange connection, they always make it work here. Every time I've come here, it's always been ready to go, and there's been no problems. Well, in the past, we've done a lot with WYSIWYG. Obviously, it was a standard for many years. Now, recently, Depends has become pretty popular. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't make a big difference to me because they're both tools just to get the real product ready. And it depends, it offers some increased fidelity, whereas VisiVig is maybe performance a little better in some areas, but they both work great for what they are. And it's just, uh, it just helps you really visualize what's in your head. And if you're programming in a studio, you can maybe save one or two days on site, which involves a lot more money, a lot more time, a lot more people, space. Uh, maybe it's not even logistically possible to spend so much time on site. So it really is, for corporate clients especially, uh, big time and money saver. But also, like I said, not just for corporate clients, for creative freedom, it's also a great tool. Yeah, it depends. It's a very strong program. I mean, the quality is really good. It's a new rendering engine. It looks very different than what we've been used to. There's some really nice cross support with Vectorworks. It's really, really fast to export a file out of Vectorworks and directly in Depends. And for a designer, it's like me, it's, it just makes it super easy to get a, 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 a just come some kind of picture ready and out in a, in a matter of hours instead of days. Like a lot of people are using Unreal engines, not just for, for rendering, but also for real-time um, green screen and real-time background effects. It's just the fidelity of visual and virtual rooms and, and, and lighting and, and scenery is becoming almost indistinguishable from the reality. And that's going to help us in one way, but also, people are now starting to do streams uh, with, with a lot of visualization software, and for me, it doesn't, doesn't have nearly the same impact as a real location does. So it's going to be great in the future to show customers, but it's never going to replace the feeling of being somewhere and experiencing something in real life. So this is an interesting one because this was the premiere of the Porsche Taycan, and this happened in three locations around the world at the same time. It was in the morning in Canada at the Niagara Falls, midday in Berlin at a huge solar field outside of the city, and the evening in China at a wind farm. So there's just three locations and uh, the press were invited and basically the show happened. At the end of the show, the doors opened and there was a uh, waterfall, solar fields, or windmills to show three renewable resources. Great idea, it was a very cool concept. And at every location, they built this, this cube which we then uh, decided to install some LED lines, which we animated. We also use this project MadMapper, which is something that Prefocus also has, and it's a very cool tool to use generative content for LED equipment and for pixel-based mappings. And so we had some generative content for the pixel uh, stripes in the wall here, which we used to animate and like activate the car. So everyone came here to Berlin, because I had in every location one, one uh, LD. We all met here, just discussed the show, programmed it together. Everyone got a briefing on how MadMapper works, and then uh, came with, went with their show files all across the world, and the show was flawless. Everything worked out perfectly, so it was a really great way to bring everyone together and to make like a game plan and have everything safe. Also show the customer how it would look. It was great. One of the most impressive shows I saw last year was a show from Christoph. Christoph is a lighting designer of um, Materia and Casper. That creative atmosphere over here, it's not years ago like you're sitting on a case in a, in a cold, dark um, rental company hall uh, with, with some stuff. It has to be cozy over here. You have to feel good. I know Tillman since around 20 years when we were both 
small operators. Nowadays, I'm a lighting designer and he has the number one pre-programming studio in Berlin, a proper super professional place to work. I mean, you've got a grandma two full size, three full size, all the computers, everything you can imagine, capture cards, you can play your video in your Visivik, you can technically top notch. You have the office in the front with two big lighting designers and two guys who are super good operators. So I want to be creative mainly. I don't want to think about why is Visivik not connected. I come here with a clear creative idea, so I don't even use everything they could give because they could also help you as a designer with the design or with uh, I'm also a good programmer they could also write some tools for you but most important for me is you're here in the back and you can just be creative you can invite your artists show them what you've done you can like I did with Materia Casper do brainstormings with with your video guys last year in May I was here for 20 plus days for Materia Casper and it was very long days. In the, in the day I did more like production design on the telephone and in the evening I was programming lights. And sometimes it happened, I went in here 10 o'clock in the morning, went out 1 o'clock in the night to go home and I was like, what are all these people doing on the street? It feels like you could be in the woods or somewhere. It's like you absolutely your space, um, absolutely calm, you can be creative here. You forget that you're in the middle of Berlin, you can just focus on your project. My basic thing is I come with an idea and I want to go out here to the rehearsal space with a finished show because I don't want to end up on a rehearsal space and then change things or if I want to change things then only for a reason but there has to be a base already and the show should be ready when you enter rehearsal space at Black Box or wherever you rehearse that you can focus on improvements and not start to work on the basis there. It doesn't really matter what your tool is. The only tool I need is um, MA desks because of their possibilities. I also rented the lights, put them next to the table. So if I want to do some gobo focusing, that's not really very well visible in pre-programming software. So I also had the, the lights here in real life to um, see what I'm actually doing. I love like lights on the one, video on the two, lights on the three, video on the four. You can't do that when, when you're not controlling everything. Um, with Andreas Babenko, uh, we just had meetings here and I said, okay, you're gonna do the beats, I'm gonna do the, the melody. If you don't control that, everyone will do the impact on the one. You're not able to do such sophisticated shows if you're not controlling lights and video. The exciting thing about this job is to create emotions. You come together with different kind of people from different perspectives and uh, yeah that is very interesting to see how they act with different uh, sides of an event. I started when I was 18 or something with this job um, like nearly every one of us uh, yeah because it's fun. <laughs> Yeah, our passion is to, to create a good show. In the end, it's a job, yeah, but uh, it's a job with passion. That's the best thing about that space here. You have all the support, but you always have um, the silence here in the backyard. You're absolutely free to do stuff and you, you forget what's around you. You forget that you're in the middle of Berlin. You can just focus on your project. There's uh, obviously lots of places to do visualization. But uh, in Berlin, I mean, Prefocus, I've known Toby and Tillman a long time, but also the studio here, for people who don't know them, it's located in the middle of Kreuzberg. There's a million amazing places to, to eat, to drink, to go out, to have fun, right around this area. There's hotels next door. You're completely alone and very capsulated, but you're in the middle of the city. So it is, it's, I think it's a wonderful place, not just to not just to uh, program, but also to live and to, to enjoy your time here. I mean, that's uh, what, what are we going to do if we're not making the best of the time we're working? <laughs>